Hello everyone, welcome to JHC Gaming, your number one source for Shotgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on your notifications. Enjoy the video. Hey, what is up guys? Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. If you don't know already, the skill tree as we know it right now is about to get a huge extreme makeover. And the next update 090 is about to drop. It could be soon, probably sooner than we expect. What they said last week on the mass stream, they said a few weeks, but they didn't give a specific date. It's going to be a week already. And in my books, a few weeks is about to so probably they scheduled an update release maybe for next week maybe in two weeks but we never know exactly when it's gonna drop they could have some delays they could run into some problems at the same time so that's why they don't want to reveal an exact release date anymore because they used to do that and then they run into some problems with the app store or whatever and then it get pushed back a couple days and people you know they don't stay calm when the update is late so they say it's gonna drop soon and here's the post from facebook shadow gun legends unlock the potential of the new skill 3 with the update 090 so we already know the skills are gonna be shuffled but we don't know exactly what to expect and we also know that some of the skills will be rebalanced they did talk about emp a little bit they also talk about am bomb that is gonna be kind of nerfed for pvp they want to extend the duration of the bomb so you have time to escape but they still want us to get the same value for pve now the community did not make a big deal about that picture but it's actually revealing a little bit of information so in today's video we have a sneak peek of the combat 3 the new reworked combat 3 and it's gonna give us even more stuff to think about now at the moment the combat 3 is not the biggest part of the popular builds in this meta game but it has some really interesting skills the accuracy i think it's three combat you need for accuracy um and it gives you a 15 percent extra accuracy it's really good in pvp right now anytime you can hit your shot you get an advantage some really interesting skills also in this build the crit damage is there you can get i think it's extra 15 percent crit you also get damage to elites and you get lord of war at the end of the skill tree they are really good skills by the way but it's just not that popular because because the agility and the survival builds right now are just too good am bomb for pve and pvp especially team pvp uh the auto heal boost the extra hp the movement skills there's just too much good stuff right now on agility and survival that the combat builds are left behind a little i know some guys experiment with these i know there's potential but right now it's not so viable now this is the new combat 3 and it's got 13 skills on it right now the old skill tree has three branches of 10 skills for 30 and there's nine more in between the hybrid skills for a total of 39 so with the new skill tree i see 13 skills here so i'm expecting 13 13 13 for a total of 39 so all the skills should still be there but it's gonna be no more well they said they want no more hybrid threes so you have to unlock uh the more points the more skill now first thing i noticed no more crit so the crit boost or the extra 15 percent crit it's no longer in the combat three it's gonna be somewhere else probably i'm guessing agility but it could be on survival i don't see the logic though but still okay let's look at what we got and also i want you guys to notice the kind of uh, serpent pattern okay as you unlock skills it goes like that okay so the way it's made right now i think one point is shockwave in the older skill tree shockwave was super expensive i think it was probably nine or more uh to unlock shockwave and it was not that good it's like the poor man's blink uh right now it's gonna be super cheap you only need to spend one point to have access to shockwave will it be used a little bit more we will see but the power of blink right now in the meta is really really good in pvp 
so I'm expecting maybe some guys will experiment a little bit more with Shockwave. Now, no change for the accuracy boost. You still have to spend three points in combat to have the extra accuracy, so it's not a big deal. The big surprise though, like I said, no more crit. Lord of War is super expensive, but the biggest change, or the two biggest change, Magazine Max Out is gonna be very expensive. Okay, it's not the first one that you see. The first one you see at two points is the extra ammo. This is the total ammo you can carry. And usually, it's not a big deal. You find ammo on the ground in PvE. You don't really run out of ammo in PvP. I, I don't think so. But the one up there is 9 combat points for the extra 20% magazine cap. It used to be 6 to unlock it on the hybrid 3. And magazine cap extra mag is a big deal in pvp for the people that use faraday mostly so nine combat is a huge investment just to get extra ammo on your magazine you're gonna need to find extra ammo on your pants and maybe ignore the combat three if you don't want to invest that much another huge surprise the sentry gun i mean i'm not 100 percent sure but pretty sure it goes like that so it means you will have to spend 10 combat points to get the sentry gun sentry gun is getting more used now in pvp it is very strong it deals a lot of damage it's super annoying and it is used in pvp in team pvp mostly so that will definitely change the meta a little bit in team pvp at least another one lord of war is still expensive it was already and it's still gonna be 11 points for lord of war now, Iron Sight damage used to be the cheapest thing. Some guys would spend only one point of combat just to unlock the extra Iron Sight damage. Now it's over. You're gonna have to commit to combat if you wanna unlock the extra Iron Sight damage. But the last one is still irrelevant in my opinion. The Hunter Mines at 13 combat, um, I think it will be still ignored. It was not the best skill anyways. Uh, and if you're gonna spend 13 points in combat, you're gonna suffer somewhere. You're gonna lose in survival and agility. And I still expect survival and agility to be a huge role in the meta because you got explosion resistance, projectile resistance, the extra HP, the movement skills in the agility tree also. You cannot just go all out in combat. You're gonna lose way too much. So unless they buffed Hunter Mines like crazy, I don't expect we're gonna see a lot of it. Now, I did not cover everything, but you still see some interesting stuff. The Sparta Kick is pretty cheap. The Stunner is pretty cheap. And what you see between Sparta Kick and Stunner is the Gunslinger skill. It's six points of combat to get Gunslinger, and that's it. You don't have to do, like, again, a hybrid. You don't have to spend, uh, like, we. it used to be nine in agility and three in combat. Now it's just six combat, and you get Gunslinger. I don't know if we will see another balance change on Gunslinger. It used to be 100% extra damage with pistols. It was nerfed to 50%. This also gives you, I think, extra accuracy, extra reload speed with the pistols. It's an interesting skill for sure. I love Gunslinger. I really like it, but it got nerfed pretty bad. Now, one last thing, guys. We don't have all the information. It's not clear if it really goes like that from 1, 2, 3 up to 13. The guy on the picture spent 9 points in combat, and the sentry gun is still locked. So I'm thinking you need 10 uh, to unlock the sentry gun. It looks like that. I mean, we still have to wait for the update for all the information. But until we get more info, you guys can start speculating and leave a comment below. What do you think about the new combat 3? Do you think that it's going to see a bit more use with the upcoming changes? Or do you think it's going to die completely because it was not really popular? Also, where the hell is the crit damage? If it's on uh, agility, agility is going to be insane. If it has the movement speed, all the movement skills, still probably AM bomb, the back damage, and the crit, it's going to be insane. So that is all I have for you guys today. I will be back soon with more. Cannot wait to read your comments below. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe to the channel for more Shadowgun Legends news, gameplay, and guides. I will be back soon. Till then, watch my other videos. Take care.